Good morning. We're getting ready to go floating. Why? What are you doing? Wyatt stuff. Making my dog a float. Yeah? How's that gonna work? We're gonna find out. Stay tuned. Come on out here and check out what Wyatt's doing for this dog. What you got going on there? Alright, so we gotta take Jack. Jack to him because he's not good enough in the house by himself. He's not good at being lonely. So we had to make him a raft. We just had to find stuff we had on hand. Just the tube won't work because he fall through, obviously. So I found a pool noodle. I wrapped it up in a spiral shape, taped it up, and then put it in the middle of the tube, taped it in there, and then pops. I had this old rug laying around. My uncle had the string. So we cut up the rug, tied it to the tube. Now Jack's got a float. There you go. What you think, Dave? That's totally a Wyatt thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Is this a movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, sing a song. He's rolling down the river. <laughs> <laughs> We've probably said it over and over again, but uh, one of the great advantages of full-time RVing is that we can travel around the country and be near our family members. We've got family in Arizona, up here in Michigan, in South Carolina, in Mississippi, out in Rhode Island, and in Washington. So basically all corners of the country. By having our home be mobile, we can go spend time with all those different boats. Now, obviously not all at the same time, or maybe not even all in the same year, but we're not tied down to where we got to plan a big trip to go. We can go and actually spend time with them. Being up here in Michigan and working up at Mackinac Mill, it's perfect. We're about three hours away from uh, the farm. This is the farm where Kimberly grew up. So we're able to come down and spend time with family and do some tubing and stuff like that. So pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a couple of Ziploc bags real quick to make sure if we gotta keep anything dry. And Kimberly, if you can imagine, it's a little stressed out that we're still sitting here. It's starting to get cloudy and we're worried about storms, so. Maybe this will turn into a survival video. All right, Dad, come on. It's rock and roll. Everybody saddled up. I don't have a saddle. All right, so we're here at Hemlock Park in Big Rapids, Michigan. That's where we're going to launch our tubing trip. It's pretty cloudy. I'm hoping the weather holds off. But if not, we're just going to do like Michiganders do. I've literally seen people at the, the campground standing there when it's raining, acting like it's not raining, and playing like cornhole and washers and stuff. So. Uh, we'll just pretend we're Michiganders for today. I think we should go back to this back parking lot. This is a little bit of insanity. A little. Okay. There we go. Yeah. At least it's not heavy. <laughs> Look at this circus going down. Oh, I've got that dog wrapped around me, you stupid mutt. Ow! Oh. Hey, somebody's dropping water bottles. Somebody's dropping. Your dog is gonna kill me. Hey, someone uh, with the more free hand wanna walk my dog? Okay. All right. All right, circus. This comes down. Woo. Okay. Dude, all we got is we gotta switch switch sides. We're like rock climbing, but upside down. Yeah. The rock's hanging off of us. Yeah. Look at all these nice people having nice normal events out here. And then here we come, looking ridiculous. Oh, look out for the girl. Oh, dog, keep moving. Coming through, people. Rubbing Drayson. <laughs> Stop. No. Not the clampers. Hi, Gail. You're so classy and put together. Okay, good. Okay. Switch. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Go. 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 Go.
matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Oh. Oh. Can't do it in both. Okay. It's funny I'm gonna die right where I was baptized at. Yes, sir. Not a bad place. When I was a teenager, I was baptized right over here, where we're about to get in. This would be like a big long baptism in a tube. Be extra saved. How's the water, Kimberly? Autumn's already lost her flow. You gotta dive and get it, dive and get it. Here, Dave. Point and shoot. Is it, oh, is it going? Yeah, it's going. Yeah, it's going. Hey, there you go, you? Cam. No, you're recording. You. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> there you go, Cam. <laughs> Come on, Jay. Hey, this is awesome. These people up here aren't even waiting for the video to hit YouTube. They're watching the live performance. <laughs> Ah, too much fun. It's always exciting. All right, I gotta put you down so I can paddle and catch up to them. There you go. Paddle, paddle. <laughs> Grab her, Dave. We are floating on the Muskegon River. We just left Hemlock Park in Big Rapids. Here's Wyatt. And check out his contraption for Jack Bow. Dot. He is loving yeah. it. He's got a little floating dot. This is all right. We have a Jack, lay down. Where, where are the girls? We have about 10 miles to go. Jake is <laughs> way up there in a kayak fishing, of course. And then Kimberly and her sister and her nephew are up there farther. Oh my gosh. I hear rapids and I hear screaming. There goes Kimberly. That's. Her legs went up. <laughs> Uh, we should probably not laugh until we get there. <laughs> <laughs> we get our turn. That's right. See, it isn't all gloom and doom. There's a lot of good things in America that are happening, and this is one of them. She's a little shallow. Look. <laughs> Kind of great. This is the life. Way up there, as far as you can see, Jacob just went around that corner in the kayak fishing because that's what he's motivated to do. And then there's Cody, my nephew, and Autumn, and Wyatt. And then up way in front of them is my brother-in-law and sister-in-law because my brother-in-law, Cameron, has to get to work on time. <laughs> so he's going to beat us all there. The three of us. My father-in-law, Dave, who you saw last year in the video, and me and Kimberly, we, we don't really got anything to do today. It's our day off, and it's always Dave's day now, off. Now, this is what you call laid back. So, we're just chilling, letting the world go by. It really is beautiful. It was chilly to get in, but what do you think of it now? It's Good. great. Yeah. It was just cold at that, at that one part. There's some piers, little kind of pier things on the side here every so often. Must be the county or the state sets up so you can go fishing on the river. It's pretty cool because you can see it would be super hard to get into the river in a lot of these spots. That'd be all right right there. I'd get in there. Woohoo! Oh, we're gonna
Okay, so Wyatt's doing something that he used to do when he was a kid, and I used to do it when I was a kid, all on this river here, on the Muskegon River. He's catching crawfish. You can see any down there? No, I haven't uh, looked under this rock, but all right, I feel like get... there might be one, so. All right, let me get the camera underwater. Yeah, dip on in here. do it we're just not finding them right now we found one a little bit earlier it's a small one Adirondacks. The Adirondacks. The That's in the Adirondacks is up in Alaska. That's that dog sled race. Yeah, that's dog sled race. Jack, yeah, that. Jack, Jack you should do the Adirondacks. You won't even pull me on the longboard. Okay, so Jack may not be a sled dog. Yeah, he, he got to stick to the squirrels. He good squirrel dog. So one of the great things about Michigan in general, as opposed to say out in Arizona or down by South Carolina or anywhere in the South really is, there's not much in the wild that can hurt you out here. Maybe like a black bear or something occasionally, but you don't really even see them. Cougars, but again, you don't see them often. But there's no like water moccasins or rattlesnakes or any of that stuff. Scorpions, what else? Do you have black widows? Allegedly, there's a Michigan Rattler, but yeah, extremely rare. Never yeah, seen one. Yeah, they keep those at the zoo. <laughs> but so floating around this river, you can be confident hanging your feet and your butt and your hands down in the water, and there's nothing really that's going to bite you and get you, except maybe a snapping turtle and they'd rather run. No alligators or crocodiles. All right, so we've been floating for about two hours now, and here's a place on the Muskegon River called Highland Park. Doesn't look like much, but there's a sign and some steps over there. High Banks Park, not Highland Park. Thank you, Cameron. Hey, you gotta be proper. I it one time when I was there. That's right, if it's going on YouTube, it's gotta be right. So High Banks Park, and the banks don't actually look that high, so. There's a sign, there's steps. If you are near Big Rapids, Michigan, and you want to go tubing and floating like this, go get yourself a little float or a tube, and you could get in um, up there where we did in Big Rapids at Hemlock Park, and you could go a couple hours and float down just like you've seen here to High Banks Park and get out. Now we're going to continue on down to my father-in-law's property, which I don't, we don't know how far that is. How far is it? I don't know, we're just gonna keep on floating. We are not stressed out right now, so. But if you wanted to do about a two hour float trip, you could go from 
Hemlock Park in Big Rapids, Michigan, in the Muskegon River, float down to High Banks. And it's a wonderful trip, wonderful trip. This has been wonderful. I can't count the times that Kimberly has said how wonderful this is. It's just the most relaxing thing. It's a beautiful environment. It doesn't cost anything more than buying the tubes. Highly recommend it. We keep on floating. At some point, we think we're gonna run into Dave's house, so. We hope. <laughs> we hope, right? But the weather, it was supposed to be thunderstorms and all kinds of crazy stuff, and it has turned out to be gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Look at this weather. Look at that sun shining up there. Are you ready to be done? No. No, any more float time. Well, as far as we know, we got hours. Just beautiful. Yeah, we don't really know how long it's gonna take us to get where we're going. This river has been so sandy since we got past about that park I showed you earlier. Look at this down here. It's almost like floating down a beach or something. Yes. I can't believe how beautiful it is. All right, look at this. Jake just caught a beautiful smallmouth. Wow, look at that guy. Yeah, he's big. That's beautiful fish, Jake. Okay. What'd you catch him on? Dollar spinner bait from Walmart. I'll tell you what, that fellow's the best I know at fishing. Oh! No! Woo Golly, two in one day. I caught it, dude. Holy moly. When I tell you this boy is the best fisherman I know, this man now, you just saw the smallmouth he caught. We're going to check out this largemouth. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. That is awesome. That's every bit of four pounds. Look at that. Yeah, for sure. That's beautiful, Jake Bo. Jake to the oh. rescue. Dave, you okay? <laughs> you got lost in the eddy over there. What'd you do, fall asleep? Yeah, I did, I think I did. <laughs> it's just because you're so good at being retired. <laughs> well, I think we're getting kind of close. We're starting to see more of these houses like this with the stairs coming down. Uh, I think we're getting close. What a good day though. This is officially the strangest place I've ever launched a YouTube video. This week's video just finished uploading while I've been floating down the river from my phone in this bag. I am about to release it to the public on Monday, August like 10th or 9th, August 10th. I'm gonna release this video from the river. Video just went live from a plastic bag in the Muskegon River. Okay, we made it. I don't know what time it is. That was a long way. We're gonna have to figure out how far that was. Maybe I can put it down below in the, in the description or at, type it on the screen. That was a long one. Bella, Bella, Bella. It's our nephew's dog. All right, we're gonna get something to eat. It's our food. <laughs> What a great surprise. Baby Oliver. Hi. What's up, honey? Hello. Hi. Food. Oh, oh what's oh, the matter? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Our 
hero. How's it going? Good. I see one. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Mm. Perfect. So you probably noticed at the end of the video that we were missing a good part of our crew that went tubing with us. We had a medical emergency on the side of the river that involved Kimberly's father, Dave. He's okay now, um, but the next day when he got out of the hospital and we found out that he was gonna be okay, Kimberly sat down with her father and discussed the incident. We'll put that update out a little bit later this week. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss that video. As always, leave a comment down below Give us a thumbs up, really helps us out, and we'll catch up with y'all next time. Thanks for coming along.